On a multilane road, a dashed yellow line next to a solid yellow line means A. Passing is prohibited from both directions. B. Passing is permitted from both directions. C. Passing is permitted only from the direction next to the dashed line. C. Passing is permitted only from the direction next to the dashed line. Where there are both solid and dashed yellow lines between lanes of traffic, only traffic directly next to the dashed line may cross the center line to pass. Drivers next to the solid line may not pass. This sign means A. Slippery when wet. B. Stop sign ahead. C. No U-turn. A. Slippery when wet. All roads are slippery and dangerous when wet. This sign warns of conditions that can cause a driver to lose control of a car. A driver should slow down when coming upon wet pavement because it takes longer to stop. What does this road sign indicate? A. Directions for children. B. School zone ahead. C. Playground area ahead. B. School zone ahead. Pentagonal signs indicate that you are in or are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. Be aware of children when driving near a school zone and follow posted speed limits. You may pass on the right of another vehicle? A. When traveling either on a multi-lane highway or on a street with an available turning lane. B. Only when traveling on a multi-lane highway with two or more lanes of traffic traveling in the same direction. C. Only when the other vehicle is making or is about to make a left turn and a lane is provided for you to pass on the right. A. When traveling either on a multi-lane highway or on a street with an available turning lane. You may pass on the right of another vehicle making or about to make a left turn if there is sufficient pavement width for both your vehicle and the vehicle making the left turn. You may also pass on the right when traveling on a multi-lane highway carrying two or more lanes of traffic in the same direction. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a minimum blood alcohol concentration BAC of A. 0.05% B. 0.08% C. 0.02%. B. 0.08%. For drivers age 21 or older, it is illegal to operate a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol concentration BAC of 0.08% or higher. Driving while under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal, but dangerous. To be able to turn quickly, your hands must be A. On opposite sides of the steering wheel. B. Next to each other on the top of the steering wheel. C. On the top and bottom of the steering wheel. A. On opposite sides of the steering wheel. Both hands should be placed on opposite sides of the steering wheel. This position is comfortable and promotes safe turning on high-speed roadways. Temporary signs used in construction and maintenance work areas? A. Have a red background with green writing. B. Have an orange background with black writing. C. Have a yellow background with blue writing. B. Have an orange background with black writing. All temporary signs in work zones have orange backgrounds with black writing and or symbols. This sign is a A. Yield sign. B. School crossing sign. 
C stop sign A yield sign A downward facing triangular sign is always a yield sign Drivers must be prepared to slow down or stop when approaching a yield sign A steady green traffic light at an intersection means A increase your speed B adjust your mirrors C. You may continue through the intersection at a safe and reasonable speed, if it is clear to do so. C. You may continue through the intersection at a safe and reasonable speed, if it is clear to do so. A steady green traffic light indicates that the driver may continue through the intersection. The driver should yield to traffic or pedestrians already in the intersection and proceed when the intersection is clear. This sign means A. No right turn. B. Right turn on red light permitted with caution. C. All traffic must turn right at next intersection. A. No right turn. Signs with a red circle and diagonal line over a black symbol indicate that the action represented by the symbol is prohibited. In this case, the sign indicates that right turns are prohibited. This sign means A. There is a 35 miles per hour speed zone after the curve ahead. B. Drive no slower than 35 miles per hour around the upcoming curve. C. Approach the upcoming curve at a speed of 35 miles per hour or slower. C. Approach the upcoming curve at a speed of 35 miles per hour or slower. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. These signs may be accompanied by speed advisory plaques that indicate the speed with which you should proceed. If a child is riding a bicycle near your vehicle, A. Beep your horn. B. Expect the child to be in total control of the bicycle. C. Expect the unexpected. C. Expect the unexpected. Children on bicycles are sometimes unpredictable. Young bicyclists are especially likely to make surprising changes in direction. Remember that children and bicycles are both small in stature and may become difficult to see. This sign means a. Pedestrians walking along the road ahead. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. C. Pedestrians must not cross here. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to where pedestrians may be crossing. If a pedestrian is crossing in a crosswalk marked with this sign, drivers must stop and remain stopped until the pedestrian is no longer in the crosswalk. This sign means A. Trucks entering. B. Truck exit only. C. Steep downgrade ahead. C. Steep downgrade ahead. This sign warns that a steep downgrade is ahead on the road. Drivers should check their brakes. Which of these statements is true about driving and taking medications? A. Most cold medications can make a person drowsy. B. Over-the-counter medications cannot impair driving ability if taken in the recommended dosages. C. Medications are safe to take at any time, if prescribed by a doctor. A. Most cold medications can make a person drowsy. Remember that all medications, prescription or over-the-counter, are potentially dangerous and could impair your driving. Over-the-counter medicines that you take for colds and allergies can make you drowsy and affect your driving ability. It is your responsibility to know how your medication affects your ability to drive.
This sign means A. No right turn. B. You must turn right. C. Watch for traffic on your right. A. No right turn. This sign prohibits right turns. You cannot make a right turn at an intersection where this sign is posted. A steady yellow traffic signal light is a warning that the light is about to change to red. If you are already within the intersection when a green light changes to yellow, you should A. Stop. B. Continue moving and clear the intersection safely. C. Increase your speed so as not to cause an accident. B. Continue moving and clear the intersection safely. If you are already within an intersection when the traffic light turns yellow, you should clear the intersection as quickly as possible. You are driving on the freeway. The vehicle in front of you is a large truck. You should drive a closely behind the truck in bad weather because the driver can see farther ahead than you can. b farther behind the truck than you would when following a passenger vehicle. c no more than one car length behind the truck so the driver can see you. b farther behind the truck than you would when following a passenger vehicle. When you follow so closely behind a truck that you cannot see the truck driver's side view mirrors, the trucker cannot see you and has no way of knowing you are there. Tailgating a truck, or any vehicle, is dangerous because you take away your own cushion of safety if the vehicle in front of you stops quickly. When you want to change lanes, you should never. A. Move into another lane while within an intersection. B. Check your blind spot by looking over your shoulder. C. Check for other drivers moving into the same lane. A. Move into another lane while within an intersection. You should never change lanes within an intersection. Before changing lanes, always look over your shoulder to check your blind spot. Be alert to other drivers moving into the same lane. This is the shape and color of a fill in the blank sign A. Stop B. Wrong way C. Yield C. Yield Downward facing triangular signs mean drivers must yield. When approaching a yield sign, slow down to a speed that is reasonable for existing conditions and stop if necessary. If you must stop, do so at a marked stop line, if it exists. This sign means A. No passing zone. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. Two-way traffic. A. No passing zone. A triangular yellow sign with black lettering indicates a no passing zone. It will appear on the left side of a two-way, two-lane roadway at the beginning of an area where prohibitive pavement markings are also used. You are merging onto an interstate highway. You should A. Select a safe gap and merge into the lane of traffic. B. Merge across two lanes at once. C. Always stop before entering the highway. A. Select a safe gap and merge into the lane of traffic. Anytime you want to merge with other drivers, you need to find a gap large enough for you to safely enter into the flow of traffic. You should not stop on the entrance ramp to an interstate highway unless there are no gaps into which you may safely merge. When driving in fog or mist, never put your headlights on the high beam setting because A. The light will reflect back into your eyes. B. Approaching vehicles might not see you. C. Vehicles behind you may follow too closely. A. The light will reflect back into your eyes.
In foggy or misty conditions, you should not use your headlights on their high beam setting because the light will be reflected back into your eyes. Streets and highways are most slippery? A. When it has been raining hard for several hours. B. When they are clean and dry. C. Just after it starts to rain. C. Just after it starts to rain. Driving during the first half hour of rainfall is dangerous because roadways become extremely slippery when the water mixes with oil and other chemicals on the road surfaces that have not yet washed away. Use extra caution when driving on slippery roads. This sign tells you that? A. No turns are allowed on the road. B. The road narrows ahead. C. There is a series of curves ahead. C. There is a series of curves ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming winding road. This sign indicates a a. Railroad crossing. B. Pedestrian crossing. C. No passing zone. A. Railroad crossing. Yellow signs with black markings are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazards or special conditions. Round signs are used only to warn about upcoming railroad crossings. This sign means a. Slow moving vehicle. B. Road construction, maintenance area. C. Traffic signal ahead. A. Slow moving vehicle. This sign is displayed on slow moving vehicles. It is more dangerous to drive at night than during the day because A. You cannot see as far ahead at night. B. The road is always more slippery at night. C. Your reaction time is slower at night. A. You cannot see as far ahead at night. With decreased visibility and the glare of oncoming headlights, you cannot see as far ahead at night as you can during the day. Always use headlights and exercise caution when driving in the dark. This sign means A. Change in direction or narrowing of roadway. B. No right turn. C. No passing zone. A. Change in direction or narrowing of roadway. This sign warns a driver of a change in direction or a narrowing of the road. A driver may find several of these signs on the outside of a sharp curve or on approaches to a narrow bridge. You may legally block an intersection? A. If you entered the intersection on the green light. B. During rush hour traffic. C. Under no circumstances. C. Under no circumstances. Even if the light is green, you may not enter an intersection unless you can get completely across before the light turns red. If you block the intersection, you can be cited. This sign is used to warn drivers about A. Upcoming intersections B. Road construction C. Road curves ahead C. Road curves ahead Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign is used to warn drivers about an upcoming curve to the right. Using a cell phone while operating a motor vehicle is considered a distraction because A. It causes the driver to be concerned about the cost of the call. B. It occupies the driver's hands, eyes, and mind. C. It is an activity that draws the attention of other drivers. 
B. It occupies the driver's hands, eyes, and mind. Using a cell phone while driving is dangerous because it occupies the user's eyes, hands, and mind. Even the most skilled drivers increase their risk of being involved in a crash by using a cell phone on the road. When you see this yellow sign, you should A. Always stop at the crosswalk. B. Stop at the crosswalk until a crossing guard signals for you to go. C. Be prepared to stop if children are in the crosswalk. C. Be prepared to stop if children are in the crosswalk. A five-sided sign indicates that you are near a school. Be aware and stop if children are in the crosswalk. This sign means you are approaching a railroad crossing that does not have a signal. You should a. Come to a complete stop. b. Proceed at a consistent speed while looking and listening for approaching trains. c. Slow down, look both ways, listen for any trains, and be prepared to stop if any trains are nearby. c. Slow down, look both ways, listen for any trains, and be prepared to stop if any trains are nearby. At a railroad crossing marked with this sign, a driver should look both ways, listen for any trains, and be prepared to stop if any trains are nearby. Never try to outdrive an oncoming train. When should drivers yield the right of way to pedestrians in a crosswalk? A. Only if the pedestrians first wave to the driver. B. Only if the pedestrians are not texting while walking. C. At all times. C. At all times. Bring your vehicle to a complete stop at a crosswalk to yield the right of way to any vehicle or pedestrian already in the intersection. You may carefully proceed if your lane is completely clear. This sign means? A. Trucks under 18,000 pounds are allowed. B. Hill ahead. C. Truck stop ahead. B. Hill ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign indicates that there is a steep hill ahead. Slow down and be ready to shift to a lower gear to control your speed and protect your brakes from damage. This road sign means A. Intersection ahead. B. Merging traffic. C. Steep hill ahead. C. Steep hill ahead. Warning signs provide notice to road users of a situation that might not be readily apparent and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers of an upcoming steep hill. Drivers should adjust their speed accordingly to avoid collisions and brake damage. At a railroad crossing, you must a. Watch for vehicles that must stop at all railroad crossings, school buses, trucks carrying hazardous materials, etc. b. Watch for multiple trains. c. Both of the above. c. Both of the above. You must approach all railroad crossings with extreme caution and cross only when you know that no train is coming from either direction. Be aware of vehicles that must stop at all railroad crossings, such as school buses and trucks carrying hazardous materials. You are coming to an intersection with a flashing red light. You should A. Slow down and yield the right of way. B. Slow down and drive carefully through the intersection. C. Come to a complete stop, check the traffic, and go when it is safe to do so. C. Come to a complete stop, check the traffic, and go when it is safe to do so. A flashing red traffic light means the same thing as a stop sign. You must come to a complete stop, yield to other traffic and pedestrians, and then proceed when it's safe to do so.
This sign means A. Crossroad ahead. B. Merge. C. Stop. A. Crossroad ahead. This sign indicates that there is a crossroad ahead.